who has nothing in your head to make you go numb. I'm sorry, madam. I hope there's no problem. Get this toy off my parking space now! But I thought you preferred the other space. Were you blind not to notice I parked here yesterday? Hmm? That makes here now my new parking space. I'm, I'm sorry, madam. Sorry for yourself. I know what you're about to say. Mm -hmm. She definitely woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning, okay? I'm being a bobo dumped out last night. I know, Naomi. She doesn't have a boyfriend. <laughs> Madam, I too can. I too know. Hmm? Do you follow her about all the time after work? Look, I'm not fooled by her innocent looks at all. Girls like her are very dangerous when it comes to men. I've known Naomi for a long time now. She's not the pretending type. She won't believe for how long she's been brooding over a heartbreak. Which heartbreak? A girl like her can have any man of her choice just at the snap of her fingers. Naomi has been out of the relationship for close to four years now. It's a lie. Is she a firewood? How can a girl stay that long without the warm touch of a man? Kate, not everyone is like you. Matters of the heart can never be defined by the logic of the head, especially a head like yours. Hey, 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 don't insult me this morning, okay? Don't! Since when did Nado Investment Company become a gossip center? You're not gossiping, mm. So in other words, I'm now blind. So early in the morning, instead of you two working hard to end the salary, you're busy idling away gossiping about me. No, madam. Shut up! Your boy suspended for one week. I want your suspension letter in here in the next 30 minutes. That's not fair, madam. Please. I see. Let's see what is not fair. Two. Now get the hell out of my office. Same thing, uh, another plate. Yeah, and I want um, plain rice and grilled chicken that stick away. I want um, American salad. You know American salad, right? Yeah. Irish cream and the ice cubes. Okay. Yeah. Can we find enough? Excuse me, lady. Don't bring anything, okay? What kind of embarrassment is this? Must you rub it in that you don't want to pay in the bill? What is the meaning of this? What kind of embarrassment? Um, as I said, you know. Um, yeah. Good, thank you. And I'm a shredded beef and chicken, okay? Yeah. Why can't you read my simple body language? Ken? No, no, What is the meaning of this? Look at you. Why well, think I use my mother? You know I always deliver. Why? Are you, are you having your period? Why do you have to 
Don't worry, I, you know I can always deliver when it comes to even with period or no period, you know. Worst of all, she walks here. Damn, I hate this girl. But why do I hate her so much? Huh? Could I be jealous of her? Jealous of this ugly, this ugly, beautiful, ugly, ugly thing? No, I cannot be jealous of her. I cannot be me, Michelle, jealous of this small thing. Take you to the moon tonight. <laughs> to the moon. <laughs> you be shouting moon, moon. Why do you settle this bill? <laughs> but you're joking, right? It's just Henry Gannis here. Yeah. She needs a token. Yeah. Chicken feet. That's why you should be able to settle it. Excuse me. I'm yeah, done with you, Queen. Quit, quit playing and settle this thing. I said I'm done with you. Can't take any notice from you. Oh, no, no. It's all about you. And where do you think we are going? You can't leave here, sir. Don't let them go. Any money on me. Sorry, you can't leave here, sir. Please, okay, let, let me try and do it. And where do you think we are going? Unless you settle your business, you are not moving out of this place. Stupid man! You think you can just walk into any restaurant and do whatever pleases you? No, you know, I, I, I came with her. I, 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 I don't have any money. Why have you wasting my time? In fact, start naked yourself. Start naked yourself. Wait, 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 let me let me call my friend, okay? Please, let me call my friend. Please. Okay. Uh, I'm with you. Yes. Just do whatever pleases you. I will do, 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 just go to the market and dance and get whatever we want in. Yeah, hello, Frank. Frank, please. Listen, listen. I, I need your help, please. I, I'm at a Golden Point restaurant. Uh. Yeah, come. You come with Henry Ganassini. Listen to me. I, it, it's an emergency, okay? Please. Please, Frank. Please help me, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm waiting. Would you come and explain, okay? Bye bye. my wealth, I still can't get my own man. 
I now have to sleep alone again tonight. Hello, big brother. How is Kumasi? Everything is moving as smoothly as anticipated. I have another appointment with the MD of Sherco Petroleum tomorrow morning and thereafter. We shall be having a joint inspection of facilities at our new branch office. Um, so far, they are so impressed with our proposals. That's some good news. I really miss you, Ralph. I can't sleep. You absent leaves me so bored and lonely in this big house. You sound like I've been gone for ages. I still have another one week to spend here in Kumasi, do you know? Another week? That sounds like a century. <laughs> Very funny. Anyone listening to you would think probably I'm your husband. Don't blame me. You're my big brother. And as long as I don't have a husband yet, you have no choice but to play big daddy to me. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, baby girl. I'll be back as soon as I'm true, okay? Try and catch some sleep now. I'll try. Take care of yourself, okay? I love you. You know I love you. I love you too. Bye-bye. Cut the snack. How much? Are you kidding me? 150 what? Let's go down. So how much are you giving? 50. <laughs> Why can't you guys understand that our job requires a lot of personal maintenance? I need money for my skincare products, my hair, cosmetics, not to talk of clothes, all to look sexy for you. And you stand here talking crap. Well, I'll manage 100. Listen, I heard all you said, but I still think 50 GHC is way too much for just one damn night. <laughs> Hey, Dwayne, baby! Yo, oh, baby, what's up? Dwayne, baby! Mm. What's up now? I'm good. You guys know me, though. For real? Yes, wow. Nice, so right? Boy, you handsome guy. Nice compliment from a pretty face. Wow. Are you free? Free like a bird. Well. I don't know what she's charging you, but I think 50 Ghana CDs is enough for you to have my company tonight, you know? I mean, Wait. totally. What the hell do you think you're doing? Challenge? we're in the marketplace bargain, you know? So open your eyes, huh? Dwayne, you can't do this. This is out of the rules. Look, this guy here is hooked. <coughs> well, I didn't hear him say that. Listen, you had your chance and you blew it. 
Come to think of it, I think I prefer her better. Ooh, you are not moving anywhere. <laughs> Get lost. <laughs> Trisha, in fact, you are too bad luck. Trisha! Alright, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Excuse me, sorry. Hey, Dwayne! Dwayne! Dwayne, don't even try me. A shower. You are a shower. Teach you less. You are the cheapest, a shower. That's why you are the cheapest of all. Listen, I think you should. Hey, Dwayne. <laughs> Dwayne, don't try me. Dwayne, don't even try me. Hey, I'm gonna sleep all <laughs> the way. Dwayne, I'll wake up. Dwayne, see the house. I will deal with you. Oh, you do. Trisha, I will deal what with you. you too. A shower. Dwayne, you, hey. Dwayne, you know I what I cannot do anything. Dwayne, you know what I can do. You cannot do it. Dwayne, you know what I can do. Dwayne, you know what I can do. I can finish. <laughs> You are lucky. I will I teach you a where? lesson. You will do nothing. You will pay I for want this. to finish you completely. You will pay for I this. want to kill you. I shower. The man don't like you now. Who is this man? Who is You don't know my level before. Is this my level? I shower. This guy is not my I level. I will teach you lesson. What will you do? What will you do? I'm Trisha. coming back for you. My friend. For my don't even try to. Don't even try to. You will pay me. for this. How will I pay for I shower. Why I make this girl fall? Anyway, thank you for the top, you know. That girl is just a witch. In fact, she's a vampire. It's okay, it's okay. I just hope you are in the right state of mind to get down to business with me. <laughs> me? I don't help with my business, you know. That minor incident can't ever stand in my way of progress, God forbid. Whoa, this sounds encouraging, more than I thought it would be. Yeah. I'm gonna teach you what your mama wouldn't ever teach you. So We are good to go.
extra 50 Ghana cities. Or you would rather go home naked. So what's the deal? Please, 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 please don't do it. Spend the money. But, but this is not fair. I, I gave you your money already. Okay, okay, alright, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'll pay, I'll give it to you. Just take it. Hmm. And if you try anything funny, I will make sure I stab you and stab you to death. What's up? Just stay away from me right now, okay? Shit. Look at you two the vex, so. Hey, what's your own self? Money that you have already lost is what you're killing yourself for. What is my own? What is my own? Look here, I had the mind to tear you apart right now. So if you know what's good for you, get out of my side before I, I lose my temper. Oh girl, relax. Eh? Nothing they happen. Look. Hmm? Let me show you. Okay, take 50 Ghana CDs. That is your share. Dwayne, mm. see, the thing is that you girls are too selfish. I am not one of you. And you don't know how to do business because if you know how to do business, things will flow and flow and flow and, and continue to flow until it overflows. Do you understand where you are? No, mm -hmm. let us move where you are. go away from me for this long again. The boredom was overbearing. I should be getting a welcome back first. I'm sorry, okay? Aquava. How you doing? But you made me miss you too much. Grow up, Michelle. I'm not going to pet you forever. Who is asking you to pet me? Grow up, Michelle. Grow up, Michelle. How is the trip? Very wonderful. You serious? Yes. And you're looking as ravishing, as elegant, as psychedelic as ever. I can't believe five years has rolled by since dad and mom passed on and we inherited the company. I know. I'm going to be so proud of us in your graves. For what we've been able to achieve in their legacy. That's just the beginning. By the time we are through, Nido Investment is going to be the biggest, the widest company in the whole wide world. Let's go relax and enjoy the end of your celebration. I haven't seen you feel this good in three whole years. Yeah, since Monica passed on, I've been mourning her. This is time for me to move on with my life. What do you think? Hmm. Don't tell me you're secretly seeing another woman. That is a fantastic guess, if I may say. Follow my name, kid sister. Let's go. Don't miss any step. Just follow my name. You see? Ralph, who is it you're seeing? You all members of staffs of Nido Investment Company, as I welcome and invite the financial secretary of the company to give us a closing remark. Well, um, thank you all wonderful members of Nido Investment Limited. Um, as you all know, the company would be promoting its staffs and increasing their salaries according to their hard work. So, um, 
Thank you again and see you after the break. had a wonderful day today. Um, how about you? So what is that you said you wanted to tell me? You must be ashamed of yourself, Ralph. Take whatever trash and try it out! Yes, yes ma'am. Ma you. Oh, Julie. You are now a conspirator. It's obvious you no longer love your job. I do, ma'am. Please, I love my job. You take your prostitution elsewhere, but not with my brother! Try her out! Hurry up! You! Where is that thing called the car that I gave you? Give me the keys. Give me the keys! Right. Both of you, I do not want to see your foot in this premises again! Try me! Try me! Try me, Michelle! Fools! Try me! True love can never be defined. Yeah. Yet it can be defined. True love divine. Well, to make the holy design. Yeah. When you try to fight for your right, just to get to the high. You may only fly a car yeah. and life could be Sometimes love comes with rough edges and you have to fight for the destiny of your heart. Anyways, you can stay in the house since my parents are not around. As long as you want until Chairman sorts out issues with his sister, okay? Thank you very much, Julie. You're welcome. Good day, sir. Good day. Please, may I have a word with Naomi, if you don't mind. Okay, sir. It's very good. Excuse me. Thanks. Naomi, I'm very sorry for everything. I'll show you in due time. It will be over with and Michelle wouldn't bother you again. Maybe I should just go away. You know I would never allow that. I would ruin in the whole wide world. Never. We have to stand together on this. I really do need to go away. I mean, at least it will give you some time to sort yourselves out. You're right. Then you take an early vacation and go to London or any place of your choice. I'm not talking of an early vacation. I can even go to the Kumasi branch for some months. If that is what you want is okay. Then I'll make the preparation immediately. I love you, Naomi. I love you too. Yeah. 
You all right? Sure, you're okay. Nami! Yeah? Where are you? I'm here. Hi, what's up? What happened? I mean, I was in the office yesterday. Nobody could say anything meaningful to me. They were like, hush, hush. Oh. What's happening? Well, I'm relocating to Kumasi. I resume there on Monday. Kumasi? Why Kumasi? So I have to come all the way to Kumasi to take money if I want money from you. There's something called electronic banking. You're literate. You should know better. <sighs> well, I know this is all a trick to get away from me. You don't give me money these days, except I come nagging, giving problems. Mm? It's not fair now. Mm? Listen, Dwayne, it's exigent that I really make this trip. I need this break. Well, yeah, I've been thinking of my life lately. I've been thinking of my kind of, you know, lifestyle. I want some money to start up my own business. I need a loan, sort of. Yeah, like um, 20 to 30,000 Ghana cities. Hmm? Please no. I'm hmm? sure I don't look like a bank. Neither does my office. But sis, you know you can give me this money if you want. I know you can. After all, you're dating the chairman of Nido Investment and you have the power. Do something now. My goodness. When will you ever wake up to the realities of life? And even if my boyfriend was to be giving you that kind of money, your lifestyle is too much of a risk. And I'm sure you definitely squander everything without anything to show for it. Sis, listen to yourself. Just listen to yourself. It's not fair. Oh. It's not fair. Yesterday I went to see Uncle Kofi. He was just talking rubbish. Absolute nonsense. Eh? Now that I want to do something for myself, nobody wants to help me. Oh. Nobody wants to support me at all. Me, I don't like it all. Oh. Listen, face your studies. That's the most important thing. At least you owe that to yourself and your family. Once you graduate, it will definitely fix you up. I knew it. I know nobody ever wants my progress in this family, including you. Nobody wants my progress at all. Me, me, I'm, I will not agree, oh. I will not agree. After they will call me the black sheep of the family. If people don't give me this money, people my, we, we will see my true color. You people will give me this money, or oh. you give me this money, you don't know. I'm not going anywhere. You have to go and call your boyfriend to come and give me money today. Ah, what is that? So every time I'll be the one to be begging, begging, begging. Can't I have money of my own? Yeah, I'm waiting, you know, you better bring me food to eat. I'm not going anywhere to do until I get money. Shall be your boyfriend is coming. Parents must be turning in their grave now to see you two still acting like children. I am highly disappointed. Very sorry, Uncle. I'm sorry, Uncle. What is the matter with you, Mitchell? You wish to see your brother remain perpetually single as you've chosen to? Who told you that a woman can dictate to a man's heart when it comes to a matter of love? Uncle, that girl, she's our employee for goodness sake. One stupid, wretched gold digger. Oh, really? Yes. If those were the criteria for condemning love, then your mother wouldn't have made her way to our family. But the truth is, she became the real pillar. The one who made my brother, your father, whom he eventually became. The legacy which you flagrantly we should destroy. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Uncle. You know your problem, Michel? Jealousy. You've taken solace for so long in your brother widowerhood. Now you're afraid he's getting married. And it's gonna leave you stranded in your world of loneliness. I deserve to be happy too, Uncle. <laughs> well, every night. I weep and I long for a man of my own. Ralph is my only comforter. And I just sit back and allow, allow one small girl come and take him from me. 
So all this disgusting emotional drama is all about jealousy? Naomi, you subordinate? Get a life, my daughter. It is never too late. You are only as old as you make yourself feel. Ralph can never take the place of a husband. Get a life, my daughter. There you are. I'm leaving. Where are you off to? Kumasi. Kumasi? How come you didn't inform me? Oh, you care? Well, you have made yourself a Rubicon I must cross before I can speak with you? Come on, Ralph. Hmm? Haven't I apologized enough? Don't tell me you're still angry at me. Hmm? Looking so handsome. My sweet brother. Your apology will only make a sense to me when you have said my fiancé Naomi. Well, I told you I no longer object to you seeing her. But I still need to get used to the idea of two of you. I don't know why you're just impossible. Anyway, I'll be going to spend some time with Naomi and also complete negotiations with the gas pipeline contract we've been pursuing. And I would like the contract signing to coincide with the opening of the new branch. Great idea. Well, I hope you won't stay long. I will stay as long as my fiancé desires. Please ensure that the personnel manager gets me a new personnel assistant. I'll, uh, Eric should be resuming at the new branch this week. Go and ask your fiancé to get you one. Ralph, will you peck me goodbye? I reserve my peck for Naomi. Naomi, Naomi, Kwasia Sen. Who are you? I don't want somebody for me, sir. You don't want somebody? What somebody to go still for them? <laughs> I dress like who they're going to build Iceland. See the sun. Swell like goat. How was the interview? Which interview? The one you went attending this morning. Me? Attend an interview? You don't expect me to comb the street of a crowd looking for a job. How much can they pay me? I'm a hustler to the okay. comb. Why you they lie? You they lie? Me, are they lie? Now make I, I block this door, I put this here, because I know say you go come inside and you sneak enter like that. You they lie. Are you okay? I see your application letter or whatever letter from. Tell it why for sexual matters. What be that? See who they talk. Tell it the bomb why for sexual matters. See who they talk. You. Ken, you will they search every rat hole for this house. Try it, try it. And this sugar mommy thing you not know, work anymore. Mama survived, so try it. I just go try some job. Just one of those things, you know, try it. <laughs> you know what? You're lucky you even have a degree to back you up. Man, forget about degree. I've been looking for a job for how many years now? After graduation, it's... Forget about degree, man. That's one of those things in life, man. Um, is there any food inside? Do you, do you have any food? We have dirty plates. The one we chopped yesterday. Go wash up. Okay, man. Go wash up. What happened? Who will stay here? Oh. Go wash your plates. I'm not going to be your boy, boy, boy. Yeah. Go your wash your Your mates did that in the car. I'm going to go chew your mouth. All right, if you guys see your eyes, man. I did it. You don't go look for a job. Every time I go there, go to bed. You all go stay here. Go on the road.
The chairman just called from Kumasi. He wants you to personally handle the files of his new personal assistant. And here are the files of the most qualified tree. We make do with the mail. Women can be full of distractions. I think you should look at the candidates first for first hand assessment before taking final decision, madam. You know better than to question my judgment here, Philip. Madam, I am not questioning your judgment. I think Miss Dora Okoye is the most qualified of the three candidates. Her credentials are so exceptional. Can't you see things for yourself? Obviously, you have such an enormous interest in this Mrs. Dora, whatever. But let me remind you, as admin manager, you should remember that this is not a place where you can exercise such a perverted lust. Not at all, madam. I only volunteered or professional advice. And keep your professional advice to yourself. I want Mr. Kenneth Asamoah's employment letter here first thing tomorrow morning. Well, if the chairman is so. coming back on Monday and he's there before he returns. If you say so, I take my leave. Girl. Get the car, I want lunch. Good day, madam. I was directed by the administrative manager to see you. Can I summon the personal assistant to the company chairman? Yes, madam. Please. Thank you, madam. What did you call me? I, I said thank you, madam. Michelle, I suggest you throw madam out of your speech when addressing me. Is that clear? Yes, ma yes. I'm the managing director. You'll be reporting directly to the company chairman. Okay? He's currently out of the country and you'll be resuming work on Monday. He's my brother and I happen to have a big influence on him. That means... Try hard not to cross my path, Ken. I'd like to know we understand each other perfectly. Yes, madam. Michelle! I'm sorry, I, I'm struggling to get used to that. The chairman will be expected back on Monday. In the meantime, you report directly to me every day you come here. Is that clear? Yes, madam. Sorry. Yes, yes, sorry. Michelle! Michelle. Okay. That's all. Okay. Thank you, my Ken. You're very handsome. You're incredibly sexy. Nowhere. I said, come and leave. Oh, oh no, go, go, go. <laughs> I'm going nowhere. Let's come on. Look, I'm tired of her. I don't want to see her anymore. She'll leave. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? You know, tell her to leave before I kill her. <laughs> kill me. Kill me. I'm going nowhere. <laughs> come down, man. I want to see that woman is coming. I want to see the woman who is coming to see you. Whether she has two heads or not, I'm not going. I'm expecting an important visitor. And I don't want her to meet Jane. It's as simple as that, don't you understand? Why should I leave the house for another girl to come here? After all I've done for you in the past three months, Ken. It's not fair. It's not Jane, fair. I understand you, but it's about time you leave. Please. No. It goes clack your face, oh. Why does it keep to 
treating me like a piece of rug. I've spent my parents' money looking after him. All I get are insults and unfaithfulness. Why? I understand. Can't wipe me. Honey, I love you. I know. I don't want him to beat you. Okay? Don't feel me. That's all, huh? The man. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is my lot of mama.
take our pencil and made you breakfast. Uh, don't worry, I still need to cut some more sleep. My head is not clear yet. No, you can't. Your boss respected back today, okay? And he's a workaholic. And I know he will get to the office immediately. And I want you there before him. So wake up. Listen, Ken. I'd like us to get married soon. Okay, that's fine. I can wait. Now get up and get ready for work. Alison's PA some years back in Kumasi. Really? Ken, you've got such professional experience. Why didn't you add it onto your CV? I'll tell you why you didn't do that. Because you have just employed here a thief for me as a personal assistant. What? Yeah. She's the law. This is the same guy who made away with Alison's $20,000 some three years ago. He was arrested and detained for three months before I was able to inform the money. Ken! Is this true? It's not true. I, it's true I did work for Mr. Allison, but I, we had a little misunderstanding and he set me up. I, all the allegations leveled against me are false. I, oh, keep quiet! You are a thief. You know you are just lied. Misha, I don't want to smell this guy around his premises ever again. And that is fine. With all due respect, sir, I'm not a thief. I'm, I'm not a thief. You are a thief. You know you are. Ralph, let's just get to the truth of this matter, okay? You said he's not a team. Ken, please wait for me in the car. Ralph! You just employed me a personal assistant from my wallet and you ended up employing a team? He's not a team, man. You should have come off it. And he's also my love. Are sure you're telling me the truth? There's no truth to tell. I did a deal for Mr. Allison and refused to settle me. When I insisted on getting my due, he chose to frame me up with a $20,000 theft I know nothing about. I was dehumanized for two solid months in police custody. All I ever worked for was confiscated before he asked them to set me free. Are you sure you're exactly telling me the truth, Ken? 
Look, Michelle, I'm not seeking for sympathy. It doesn't matter whether anyone believes me or not. All I want to do is to pick back the pieces of my life. Ken, wait. Now that I know the truth, I'll talk to my brother, okay? I don't want to hear anything. I spoke with him and he told me what transpired between him and your friend. He said even Alison sidelined him on some deal they did together and punished him innocently. You expected a thief to tell you that he's a thief, did you? I believe him. Ken is an intelligent, handsome young man with good university degree. You can't expect him to waste it on stealing. I didn't know you could be so gullible. Do you know how happy I was to have discovered the kind of person that guy is? That guy is bad news. You are wrong. And I wouldn't have you sent him away because of some stupid allegations. I'm not surprised, Michelle. I know you do have a crush on that guy. And I would also be surprised to know or to hear that you have slept with him. But you know what's funny? You are not going to drag a thief into neither investment company. And I expect you not to patronize me. Look, I have equal stakes in this whole company, just like you do, okay? And for your information, who I sleep with is none of your business. Hey, no way, we'll come back. I've not finished. For your information, no one is contesting that. Whoever you want to sleep with is your business. You can go about the street and sleep with whoever you like. A boss, nobody. But what I'm saying is, I do not want a thief for a personal assistant, and that is fine. Rubbish. What says? Hello. Yeah, it's me. Phil. First thing tomorrow morning, I want another personal assistant in that office. Please. This time, one with a good record. Okay? Good. Rubbish. When love is knocking on your door, better not take it to the floor. True love can never make you fall. Think twice to have some more. When love Hi. What is happening here? Well, we have decided that as your personal assistant, it's only better he moves in closer to you. So you can assess him at a closer range and see he's not the thief you think he is. Take your things inside, mate. You just said it then. Oh, are you so handsome? Are you alright? Huh? <sighs> no. Something was wrong. I'm fine. You know why? Something is wrong with you. You're sick. This madness has to stop. I agree with you, Ken. It must stop. You've taken this revenge thing too far. I let you have your way with Naomi. So please let me have my way with Ken. love my sister. I love her. I said how much? Very much, sir. I can see through you, young man. You are just an imposter. If you truly love my sister like you have said, then you should have the dignity to at least stay away until things were sorted out. How we solve our issues depend entirely on individual perception. And if staying close to her will make her happy, 
I love her enough to agree to it, irrespective of the inconvenience it will cost me. I am not fooled, young man. You are out to milk her and my sister dry. I know that, but it won't happen. You have acted this evening to pack your shit and get out of my premises. Without due respect, sir, you would not address me that way. I'm not a thief. And I'll do whatever I will do to please my woman. Excuse me. I am still talking. Like I've rightly said, you have apt this evening. I don't even have a minute left. I want you out of my premises. This minute. Well understood. Never make you fall Think twice to have some more I can't 